What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Fire Red walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, yeah, we, we, we kind of did a little bit. Well, not a little bit, but a lot. We did a lot, yes. We went through Saffron City, defeated a lot of people, and we've managed to get ourselves uh, another badge, as you guys can see right here. Look at this. We are six badges heavy. And, well, let's see. Originally, I had planned to go into the cycling road all the way down to Fuchsia, all the way to Cinnabar Island. But I've realized that, you know what, since I've been doing this kind of a, this kind of a model on, on, on our videos, you know, me putting everything all in one video and then putting chapters, I figured that we should start off with the legendary Pokemon that is has been looking at us for quite some time now that we've gotten Surf. Yes, we're talking about Zapdos. So, we're gonna go right here, and thankfully in Generation 3, they've enabled us to actually go to the to the Pokemon Center right here. So, one big thing about Zapdos. It is a flying and electric type Pokemon, and it is at level 50. As you guys can see, my Pokemon are nowhere near that that kind of strength, so what is going to happen is I'm actually going to have to modify my team in order to prevent a lot of fainting, a lot of uh, major attacks and all that stuff. So, what I'm going to do off screen, I'm going to eh, I'm going to switch a few Pokemon around that way it becomes a little easier for us to get to Zapdos. So, I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so here we are back and I think this will be the team in order to capture Zapdos. As you guys can already tell, I have three ground-type Pokemon that could help. I got Smasher, I got Terramon, I got Bones! And, well, to a lesser extent, I got Shocker right here, and uh, there, is a, there is a little bit of a something-something here with Shocker. It does have Thunder Wave. The only part is that you can't... Electric-type Pokemon can't paralyze Electric-type Pokemon. Kind of like Poison can't Poison Poison, if you guys know what I'm talking about. So... What we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing, uh, we're going to be putting the three ground type Pokemon at the very front. And we are going to make sure <laughs> that we actually, we're going to make sure that we actually succeed in this. We did buy ourselves quite a few Ultra Balls. Uh, we got a few Great Balls and all that stuff. This isn't going to be like in Pokemon Red, Blue, or Yellow where, yeah, we're going to get attacked by quite a few, or we, we're going to have to throw quite a few, uh, what was it called, uh, Pokeballs at it in order to actually capture it. And, yeah, I did not bring in the repels. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to have to just go at this alone. I really don't care. Let's go right ahead and do this right here. So, look at this. We're surfing down, and here we are in the next area. Right behind the rock tunnel. Yeah, right behind the big, the, or the bigger portion of the rock tunnel. And as you guys can see... There is an individual waiting for us right here, so let's go right ahead and put in smoke and kick some butts. Alright, let's see. Wow! You came all this way here? Maybe you're a Pokemaniac too! Wanna to see my collection? Yeah, no. Okay. So, let's go right ahead and take on Pokemaniac Mark, and he's got himself a level 29 Rhyhorn, so let's go right ahead and speed this up right here. As you guys can see, this Pokemon has more of an advantage towards me because, well, yeah, I used this Rock Throws or Rock Blast or something like that. So let's go with Leonardo right here and surf our way. And look at that, we get some more points. We're going to continue on right here. Look at this, lick a tongue, seismic test, again and again, and there you go. That is how you do it. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. So, let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon right here because, uh, well, let's see. It's always good to heal up our Pokemon, so let's go right here. Smoke, how's it going? You're getting your points. Okay, so let's see. There's nothing right here. This, <clears throat> this is the power plant. So let's go right in and look at this. Power plant is looking pretty good. So as you guys already know, power plant is home to a lot of electric type Pokemon. Pokemon. And, uh, well, here's the first of many. As you guys can see, you guys can find yourself, you guys can find yourself a Pikachu right here. Eh, I'm not going to do anything about it. And the Pokeballs right here, sometimes they're not Pokeballs, sometimes they're, you know, Electrodes, Volt Orbs. And you do have to be careful with that. And, well, look at this, we found ourselves a Magnemite. This is definitely a Pokemon that I've been wanting to capture 
So let's go right ahead and try and capture this Pokemon. So here we go, Nightshade attack. And that takes 22 of its HP right there. I think we are in the good with trying to capture this Pokemon. So let's go ahead and throw a Great Ball. Let's go. As many of you guys already know, I am, I am actually, you know, I'm going for every single one of our Pokemon right here. I'm going, I'm going to capture whatever Pokemon we have and then use them on our team. And as you guys can see, we got Magnemite, the Magnet Pokemon. It moves while constantly hovering. It dis discharges Thunder Wave and so on from its units uh, on its side. And I do believe we have a good nickname for this Pokemon. So let's go right ahead and name this guy Magnemon. I don't know why I came to that, but yes, Magnemon. There we go. Now, we will be seeing Magnemon pretty soon. I don't know how soon. Probably when we go ahead and capture Articuno. It doesn't really matter, but we will see him soon. So there we go. Magnemon has been sent to the Team's One place. And what is going to happen from here on is we're going to be speeding through the Pokemon that we find right here. I believe in Fire Red you can actually find Electabuzz. I could be wrong. Maybe. I don't know. So, let's see. Like I was saying, let's go ahead and walk around. And would you look at that, we found ourselves an Electabuzz. Okay, I completely forgot that in Pokemon Fire Red, you can actually find yourself an Electabuzz. As in, you know, Leaf Green, you'll find yourself, uh, what was it called? Uh, you'll find yourself a, a, a Magmar. So what is going to happen is we're going to Nightshade this Pokemon. And we're going to try and capture this guy. And it is a female, so it doesn't really it doesn't really matter what the, 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 the gender is. So let's go ahead and throw an Ultra Ball right here. And... No, this Pokemon has broken free. Okay, so this doesn't affect Smoke. So let's go right ahead. Ultra Ball, let's get it. Alrighty. One, two, three, and there you go. Throwing out that peace sign, guys. We have caught ourselves another useful electric type Pokemon, and that is our good old buddy, Kid Thunder. Look at this. Electabuzz, the electric Pokemon. Can't believe that it's only three feet. Kind of feel like it's a little taller. It loves to feed on strong electricity. It occasionally appears around large power plants and so on. Mm, that is cool. And yes, we're going to be giving this Pokemon the nickname that we gave it in Pokemon Crystal. Everybody, say hello to Kid Thunder. And, well, let's see. While we're in Pokemon, uh, let's see. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Okay, so while we're in Pokemon Leaf or Fire Red, we will be breeding this Pokemon into its uh, baby form. That way, you know, we can actually get another Kid Thunder right there. And there we go, Kid Thunder. How's it going? I missed you, buddy. And yes, you are back into the Team's One. Okay, so let's go right ahead and find ourselves some more Pokemon and items right here. And... Obviously, we're going to be getting attacked by another Electabuzz right here. Holy buckets! I'm going to try and capture it. Let's see. Shadow Punch right here. And, yes, it's using its uh, light screen attack. That way, you know, any kind of special attacks don't hurt us. So, let's go with the Nightshade. Yes, we're going to be, uh, we're going to be bringing some, night uh, some uh, Electabuzzes right here. And, there we go. Actually, if we hit it one more time, it might... Yeah, it might faint. So let's go right ahead and throw in a, an Ultra Ball right here. And... No! Holy crud. So it's trying to use its... Uh, it's... it's, it's uh, whatchamacallit... Uh, it's... Uh, swift attack right here. That way it can hit me. But remember, normal type attacks don't work on ghost types. And just like that, we caught ourselves a male Electabuzz which we will also be naming Kid Thunder. This is all for breeding purposes, guys. Yes, I know, I'm doing I'm doing the most right here. So, let's see, Kid. Let's see, Kid Thunder. Yes, we're gonna be breeding this Pokemon to its baby form, that way we can uh, fill up our Pokedex. 
So, what is going to happen right here, guys, is I'm actually going to go back to another town and buy myself some repels because, yes, we're going to get attacked by a lot of Pokemon, and I think we've already captured the guys that we needed to. So, I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so we're back, guys, and I decided that, hey, we need a few more reinforcements just in case. As you guys can see, we got Serpentera right here and Thrasher, and yes, I did train him just a little bit just to be, uh, just to put up a little uh, fight against these guys right here against Zapdos and all that stuff but we got ourselves a max repel and what we're gonna be doing right here is we're gonna be looking at the kind of items that you can find right now and like I said before guys some of these pokeballs won't be pokeballs they're actually going to be you know Voltorbs, electrodes those kinds of dudes you know those guys that you don't want to mess with and if you try to if you try to capture these Pokemon it's going to be a little difficult because they will try and self-destruct causing a little bit of damage towards you and well let's see hmm oh yeah we're gonna grab this and that right there is an electrode and this guy is powered up to level 34 and we're gonna do a little rock slide right here as you guys can see no electric type attacks can hurt us right here so there we go rock slide does it Okay, and me being the collective that I am, I'm gonna try and capture this guy. Yes, while I was at the, uh, you know, the gift store and all that stuff, I was getting myself some more Pokeballs. And, yes, I'm just trying to make sure that I don't, I don't waste any of these guys. And, ding, I nearly caught the Electrode. And here comes a Sonic Boom, as many of you guys already know. One Sonic Boom doesn't really do much, especially when you're level 38, but... In, in accumulation of it, it will drain you all the way down to zero because it automatically takes 20 points. So let's go right ahead and go with an Ultra Ball right here. Come on, Electrode! You know you don't want to be on my team. And it keeps on missing. I don't know why. All right, let's go with a Great Ball. See what that does. Here we go. Come on. Stay in the ball. Come on, be cool. And there you go. Throwing out that peace sign. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, so that's another Pokemon captured. We are filling our Pokedex up. And as you guys can see, Electrode, the ball Pokemon, it explodes in response to even minor stimuli. It is feared with the nickname the Bomb Ball. That is a, uh, that is a pretty good nickname, and uh, I'm not going to give it a nickname right now, but I would nickname it like the Bomba in Spanish for bomb. Okay, so let's go right ahead and continue on right here. We've already caught some of the Pokemon that we needed, and this looks like another one. And we found ourselves the TM25 Thunder. This won't be the only one that you can actually find uh, in this game. I believe you can actually buy one, so just keep, in, uh, keep that in mind right there, guys. And, well, let's see. I'm just looking around for items. You know, I'm just looking around. And here we go. Let's see what we got right here. Let's see, I believe there's an, a hidden item here uh, somewhere. This is the Pokemon. Alrighty, bring it on. Let's go, Electrode. And as you guys already know, level 34 Electrode doesn't really seem bad, especially since it's a fast Pokemon. As you guys can see, self-destruct really hits us. Uh-oh. So there you go, guys. We got ourselves... Uh, a save right there and well let's go right ahead and go right here we found ourselves a thunderstone and let's see there's no there's no free item right there okay so let's see there is I know that there's a free item right here somewhere I'm just trying to look for it and let's see you know what <laughs> this is why we got the this is why we got the item finder guys so let's see where is oh there it is the item finder okay let's see Okay, so it's right to... it's on the right. Let's see. And there we go, we found ourselves a Max Elixir. And that's usually a fine thing to do. And let's see... I think there's one right here. Let's see... nope, no response. Okay, so here we are at the very end of the power plant, and you will be finding yourself a legendary Pokémon in Zapdos. Normally, I'd like to go in order. You know, Zapdos, like Articuno, Zapdos, and uh... What was it? Uh, Moltres and all that crud. But since we we like to we like to put everything in one, we don't want to wait 
we're gonna we're gonna actually do this right here so best thing to do right here is to save up the game make sure that you know you don't <laughs> you don't lose any of this data or you don't or you don't miss out on this Pokemon and let's go right ahead and take on this guy Gayo. okay so we're doing this again because Zapdos is being lame really lame so we're gonna speed it up a little we're gonna try and paralyze it and there we go so let's see rock slide let's see how that will do because we actually have to get this Pokemon up to like we have to get this Pokemon to uh, what was it to like at least one HP because it will not let me capture it and then there we go there we go okay so we are literally putting this Pokemon down let's go with the body slam and right where we left it okay so let's see of course our Pokemon are gonna faint and hopefully this won't yeah, hopefully this won't, uh, what was it, uh, use up all our Ultra Balls, because this, this is getting late. Alright, uh, let's see, come on. Come on, Zapdos, you know you want to be on our team, don't be lame. Alright, let's actually... Okay, so we're going to speed this up a little, because it looks like to me the Zapdos is going to do the same thing. Throwing out the, you know, the Ultra Balls. I'm going to be using the majority of them. God dang it, come on. Oh, wow. It may, it's about to make my Pokemon faint right here. Come on! Oh, my God, Zapdos. You're just being lame. All right, agility won't help. Come on. Jeebus, Cromedy. One. Oh, my God. God dang you. Yeah, this Zapdos is uh, being lame. And there we go. Finally! I'm, I'm throwing out the middle finger, not the peace sign, guys. I am throwing out the middle finger because Zapdos, seriously, if this is gonna, if this is how it's gonna be with Articuno, then you know what? Screw it. Oh my God! So here we have Zapdos, the electric Pokemon. It is five feet. It weighs 116 pounds. It is annoying. You damn legendary Pokemon! I hate you. One of the legendary bird Pokemon. While it is flying, it makes crackling and snapping sounds. Ah, and no, we're not going to nickname him anything because it doesn't deserve a nickname, you a-hole. Anywho, there it is, guys. It took about four different tries and actually captured this Pokemon, but it's been done, finally. I do not have the fly technique, huh? No, I don't. Okay, so... Yes, the next adventure will be the cycling road all the way up to see the Seafoam Islands. And let's see, yes, you best believe that Articuno is going to be waiting for us. It's going to give us a hard time, so just keep an eye out for that, guys. Yeah, we're gonna, we're definitely gonna have some fun in that one right there. Other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed my frustration and all that stuff. Yes, it's always fun hearing good old Draven be all frustrated and all that stuff. I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Fire Red walkthrough. See you guys.